changes. They happen all the time. If we look around, we can see what God is doing today. And we're excited about what he's going to do tomorrow. So we're setting plans, not just for our kids, but for our grandkids and beyond. Pastor Poe says that we're in transition, not because things are bad, but because they must always get better. So here we are, looking at the now and planning to go beyond the now. Let me show you some of the changes that we have planned for Revealing Truth Ministries. First, we would like to improve the look of our campuses, starting with the repainting of our main campus, which is already underway. Next, we would like a better frame for our billboards. We'd also like to add feathered flags to each campus. We want to show the world that we are united, one body, one church. Second, we'll soon begin rolling out a church-wide integrated database. Members, staff, and volunteers from all campuses will be able to log on and get information regarding events, meetings, giving, and member records. Third, we would like to improve the quality of sound here at Revealing Truth Ministries. To start with, we need to install sound paneling in our UR building. This will make the building more useful for more events. We will also be making a much needed upgrade to the audio board at our Tampa campus. Fourth, we'd like to make some technology updates. We need a better web connection for those who can't make it to service. We also need to improve our live streaming. That way, no matter where you are, you're never without the word. Big changes, small changes, they impact us all. Here at Revealing Truth Ministries, we're speeding forward and we can't do it without your help, without your prayers and without your financial contributions. We would like to ask you to pray and ask God what he would have you to sow into everything that we have planned to go beyond the now. To make a contribution, simply write beyond the now in the other section of your envelope. This is your Revealing Truth Ministries news break. Here's what's happening this week at our Tampa campus. Embracing Legacy will be participating in Give Day Tampa Bay, a 24-hour online giving challenge led by the Community Foundation of Tampa Bay and the Florida Next Foundation. Give Day will take place on Tuesday, May 5th, starting at midnight and ending at 11.59 p.m. So you have a full 24 hours to give. Please log on to www.givedaytampabay.org and find the link for Embracing Legacy. Money raised will help us purchase much needed supplies for our programs such as SAT study guides, band and basketball uniforms, youth choir robes, and much more. You may also visit the site before May 5th and make a pledge to give on the big day. Invest in the lives of our youth by participating in Give Day Tampa Bay. Ladies, join Pastor Deborah Poe for a royal tea on Saturday, May 16th. Purchase and decorate a table for your group with your own, one-of-a-kind style. Space is limited, so reserve your table today. For more information and to sign up, please stop by guest services. It's time for Embracing Legacy Basketball. The first practice will be held this Saturday, April 11th at the RTM Tampa campus from 10 a.m. to noon. Registration and orientation are required. To register your child, please call the Embracing Legacy office at 813-871-2625. Get ready for a new season as we have some great things in store, including player development, drills, teamwork, and leadership development. The next Embracing Legacy SAT prep course begins this Saturday, April 11th at 11.30 a.m. at the Tampa campus. This free seven-week course is being taught by Dr. Kingsley Reeves, a University of South Florida professor. The course will prepare high school juniors and seniors planning to take the SAT on June 6th or later. Space is limited, so sign up today. To register, please call the Embracing Legacy office at 813-871-2625. Is your money running out before the end of the month? Are you robbing Peter to pay Paul? Are you still trying to figure out how to tithe 10%, save 10% and live on the rest? The True Prosperity Department will be hosting our next class, Stewardship, 
Managing What God is Giving You, on April 19th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the UR building at the Tampa campus. We'll show you how to make your money go further, eliminate fragments, make wiser spending decisions, and create a budget that puts you back in control of your money. We look forward to helping you become a better steward. Calling all actors and actresses! The man behind the Helmet Productions with former Tampa Bay Buccaneer Frank Murphy will be holding theater auditions this Saturday, April 11th, starting at 10 a.m. here at the Tampa campus. This is your chance to be a star. Put on your game face and strut your stuff this Saturday at 10 a.m. Attention all campuses. There will be a women in ministry meeting with Pastor Deborah Poe exclusively for pastor's wives, deacon's wives, and deaconesses on Monday, April 27th at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary at the Tampa campus. Service messages are available for purchase on CD. And for those of you who live on your phones and computers, all messages are available as an MP3 download. Stop by the Greg Poe Ministries Resource Center for more information. Find out more about what's going on at Revealing Truth Ministries with a copy of our April brochure. Get your copy at guest services or as you exit the sanctuary. This has been your Revealing Truth Ministries news break. Remember, what you confess every day will either build you up or tear you down. Have you said something positive to someone today? Have a great week.